Hey guys, Deefer here. For those who don't know, I'm one of the developers for Sonic World DX. The reason I'm even speaking on this channel is because there's a lot of frequently asked questions and I'm going to answer them. Even though there's an FAQ on not only the public discord but the site, it seems a lot of people don't read it because I see the same questions in the comment section every single time. So I'm just going to make this video so if they ask, I can just refer to here. So, I'll start with bugs that are universal between all the releases, which means both the X and the regular Sonic World releases. The first question being, what engine is Sonic World made in? It's not made in anything like Unreal or Unity, it's actually made in Blitz 3D, which is an old engine from 2004. It's really a pain since it limits what we can do, we really have to go according to limitations such as the fact that we can't have normal maps in, how we have to bake lighting. This engine is not even great at handling memory, which leads to the next question, which is a really common issue in Sonic World. Now, memory access violation. What is it? Blitz 3D is really bad at handling memory, so it's a general memory issue. We can't even give a proper error handlers. This is usually because either assets are missing, in the case of character and stage mods, or the engine's kind of being overloaded. Which is why, the more you play Sonic World, the more likely it's gonna MAV, which is the abbreviation we commonly use. I have a link in the description for a software that someone found that is a patch thing that increases the amount of memory Sonic World can use, which reduces the chance of memory access violation. I highly suggest trying it out. A lot of people are having an issue where graphics disintegrate into a corner, and it's not all of the mesh, it's only specific bits. This is often because of your graphics card, and is usually internal graphics cards that cause the issue. If you have a dedicated graphics card, I highly suggest switching it to that. If you don't, I'm sorry, I don't know what we can do. It's another engine thing. Now, here's the most common one. The spinning camera issue. This is done with controllers, and is often because of a faulty driver. One of the drivers I often call this is the VJoy driver. If that's a thing, then you can disable it. Uh, there's loads of tutorials for disabling drivers on the internet, so I don't need to say it here. Now on to more general questions. These are targeting primarily towards ZX, but some may also apply to Sonic World in general. So, what is Sonic World exactly? Well, Sonic World, and by extension DX, it's a platformer, of course, and it tries to be a celebration of everything Sonic, which is why there's a heavy emphasis on characters and stages from countless different Sonic titles. The gameplay style, obviously, represents Sonic Heroes and Sonic Adventure the most, since that was the main inspiration. The main appeal to the game is, of course, the characters and stages. Will any characters be added or removed in DX? Now, every single character will have changes to either make them their own, or go with the new additions from DX in general, such as longer animations. Unpopular characters or unnecessary characters, such as MechTales, Chow Walker, President and Commander, they're just gone. Like, MechTales and Chow Walker were just clones of two other mech characters, and President and Commander were just unnecessary. Um, g Beta and Metal 3.0 are now alts because they didn't have enough to make them their own character and they're related with Emerald, Gamma and Metal respectively. There's also going to be newcomers Shadow Android and Werehog, which are also alts. They control slightly differently but they're pretty related to the main character they're an alt of. And let me emphasize, no other characters are planned. No Classic Sonic, no Sally Acorn, no Zavok. I'm sorry, Zavok fans. Now, what modes will be in DX? Okay, so every time, every video, if I... Oh, I'm not even going to use the Euro comparison again, because in short, everyone wants a story mode, although it's against the idea for Sonic World. It's meant to be a game you can play any way you want. You don't bloody need a story. Now, Chow Garden action stages and marathon modes will still be in DX, but special stages are gone because a lot of people really didn't like them. They're multiply gotten the same way they used to. Emblems. 
the red rings that were revealed to be separate from emerald shards now, they'll be used as currency for something else to be revealed later down the line. Another question is, when will Sonic World DX be released? Well, there's a lot to be done on DX. Maybe all the stages, all the characters having not only new moves, but new animations that are unique to everyone. Also have to edit themes, make a new character modding system, so... Yeah, it's certainly not gonna come out complete for a long while. I say like 2021's like the earliest in all honesty. Some people really don't like the new voices, and they rather have official voice actors. Well, you see that button in the mod section in Sonic World or 9's website? Uh, voice mods. They're still gonna be in DX, they're not going anywhere. And day one there's going to be a few voice packs based on different eras of voice actors. So you won't have to worry about making your own. Or if you don't like the new voices, you can just go back to those. It's easier than just adding a separate voice option in game because that's just flat out tedious. Will there be a port to other consoles, other like Linux, Mac, Android or iOS? Well, Blitz is a Windows only engine. Not only that, but remember, this is a fan game. I don't think we'd be able to put it on consoles over our dead body, no matter how buddy-buddy Sega may be. Well, it seems pretty bad. Why don't you just port to Unity or Unreal? You really think it's that easy? We'd have to start from scratch and lose all the progress we've made so far. It's not as easy as drag and drop, because we also have to convert file formats. We need to recode the entire thing, since... Blitz is not the same as C Sharp or C++. So, who made Sonic World DX? Aside from a few newcomers who are know their way, there is a good few that came originally from the modding scene, such as myself. The original creator, Ozan, is no longer part of Sonic World since R9. So, that's all the questions I'll bring here. I hope this all helps you, and I don't have to keep repeating myself. I will. And thank you all for watching, and I hope you stay hyped for Sonic World DX's release.